everyone it's Leilani welcome back to my channel so today we are going to add a few more recipes into my recipe book now I started this little book this series over here on YouTube I think like last summer so it has been a while several several months since I've added anything into this album so I thought that it was the perfect time to do that today I've been trying to think about it and snap a few pictures as we were making some of uh, the recipes that I wanted to document in here so I will link that other video below if you weren't able to check it out or if you want a refresher but I worked on a few pages in here and they were all about the sweet recipes that I love to make and this uh, video is going to be about some of the savory recipes that we love to make so first off I'm starting off with this paper pad that I got from Joann's it's kind of like a really light pastel mixed media paper pad that has a little bit of um, foiling in it like silver foiling that's really pretty it almost looks like paint splatters but they're foiled and shiny and all that kind of good stuff and so I am right now creating the savory um, like divider that will go into the album so I was taking a look at uh, a couple of the colorful doilies that I have from Amazon, deciding between pink and uh, the kind of mint green. The green looked nice, but the other one, the sweets, is also with the pink. So I thought that I would keep it uh, like cohesive and just go with the pink. And then I grabbed out this stamp set. I tried to show you guys what stamp set um, I was going to be using. So it is a Felicity Jane. I think it's just like a outline stamp or something like that from 2017. I'm unaware if you can still get this stamp set or not, um, but just letting y'all know what it is. And then the other little icon stamps that we will be using are from Paper Person, if you are interested. Of course, both are really old. So the Paper Person stamp set has to be from whenever I got the uh, monthly kits which was probably well over a year ago maybe a year and a half or it's been a while so I'm not sure if it's available either so here's what I'm doing for the divider I'm just adding two pieces of the pattern paper back to back because it is uh, just one-sided and then I'm adding on my little savory um, tab or little whatever you call it here title that's the word and then I will add a tab onto the side I'm out of my Avery index tabs right now but I uh, have plans of grabbing some off of Amazon so I'll add an actual tab to the side uh, eventually whenever I get some in the mail so the the word savory was not quite centered enough for me so instead of re-stamping it because I just couldn't be bothered to do that I uh, went ahead and grabbed my star punch punched out a few stars in this cute yellow color and then I'm just adding them on to the title which I think kind of adverts your attention to the fact that it's not perfectly uh, lined up the way that I would want it and then I just went uh, along the edges of the stars and did a little dotted border just to add a little something so now we'll move on to the recipe portion so for this particular album the actual like putting together of the album is super simple because I have everything ready to go which is definitely my kind of scrapbooking for projects like this I love to kind of just assembly line it and have everything ready so I already had um, all of my recipes printed off and at the correct size that I wanted them all of my photos printed at the correct size and everything so now I'm just kind of assembling everything but while I'm putting it all together I will tell you about the three recipes that we are going to be documenting today so like I said they're the savory ones so around here in my home um, I'm more of the baker and Will is definitely the head chef he's the cook he's the one that does all the cooking around here for sure I have maybe you know two recipes that I can do I have now uh, advanced to being able to make the enchiladas and also the quiche that we make but besides that I'm more of a throw it in the air fryer kind of person um, but Will he loves a recipe and he is great at cooking he, it's definitely one of his skills for sure so these are three 
kind of easy recipes that we like to uh, go to around here. Um, so, and they are all actually using chickpeas. So if you guys didn't know, we are vegan. So they're kind of like modified recipes so that they would be vegan. So this first one is curry chickpeas, which is one of my favorites. And this was something that Will made for like quite a while for himself and I always said eh curry's not my favorite I don't love curry you know but then I tried it one night and I was like oh my gosh it's so amazingly delicious so now I will request it and ask him to make it for both of us so as you can see it's kind of like a stew so good though I mean the curry flavor is just perfect we use coconut cream and it is delightful um really really good and it's also awesome on like a bed of rice or something like that so just depending on how we feel that's how we will make it and then this next one is crazy easy to make um and it is just um chickpea salad so much like a tuna salad or a, a chicken salad this is a chickpea salad so the same kind of idea we just use vegan mayo and celery red onions and seasonings and things make up the chickpea salad kind of we mash probably half the chickpeas and then leave some whole and then put it in the fridge for a while to get nice and cold and of course you can eat it plain eat it with crackers eat it with a pita which we love to do um and yeah that's a really nice kind of spring summertime uh, meal that I love whenever you want something cold and fresh I love that so those are the first two and actually the third one that we're going to document today like I said is also with chickpeas we kind of have a theme going on and this was the first time that we made this recipe was um, earlier this week but it's definitely going to be a staple so this one came out of one of our cookbooks um, and it they called it a chicken and dumplings but I would say it's more of like a chicken pot pie so I'm calling it chickpea pot pie um, so we modified the recipe just a bit but mostly it came out of one of our cookbooks but essentially you make uh veggies you know corn peas carrots whatever kind of veggies green beans i think and you make all those um we had fresh for all of that you make all those on the stove top and and you add flour and and things and make like a almost like a gravy I, I didn't do this part as you can tell I have no clue how it was made but then I do know you put it in the pan and then you add uh, biscuits on top and then cook it all together and it's definitely like a deconstructed like chickpea pot pie and it was to die for it was so so delicious so that one I definitely wanted to add in here because I want it to be a recipe that we go to from now on I would love to make that like a, a new staple for sure so now as you can see I have the base of um, of everything finished and it could be done I just want to add a little bit of something extra of course just to add a little bit of embellishment so I'm grabbing out those uh, paper person stamps and they are all of course cooking themed so I'm stamping on a few one says chef's kiss one says we're here we uh, what does it say here at meal time what here at home meal time <laughs> that's what it says you guys <laughs> wow that that took a minute to get there but we got there right that's all that matters um and then there's some really cute like kitchen utensils and things this one says um made from scratch and then I also have a little pot and I think one said fresh from the oven or something like that the last one that I'm going to stamp and I thought that that would work here for this uh chickpea pot pie since you do bake it as well so I've stamped all of those on this really cute kind of tie-dye-esque paper and then I'm cutting those out by the magic of the video you don't have to watch me cut them out and then I'm just going to add them on to um, my recipes here just to spice it up a little bit so this has been a really super easy project it's really just getting the recipe and making sure that I have all of that correct and then making sure that I remember to take a photo of the food that we're eating but otherwise the actual construction of the album is really really simple so um it's been fun and I'm really glad that I decided to come back to it that I remembered and added a few more recipes because like I said I'm not the one cooking 
So I don't necessarily need these recipes, but I think that it's fun to keep them around because it also is a good reminder of meals that we really liked, you know, that instead of having to flip through all of the cookbooks, it's just a good reminder. Oh, at this point, um, I realized that the recipe pages go in the clear pockets so actually I should have adhered those little flip photos onto the pocket page not to the actual paper so I'm using my sand eraser to just get off some of the adhesive and it worked out perfect so that was great I do like to keep the recipes in the pocket because like I was trying to say um I definitely I may not cook these particular meals but I definitely use this book for the baking recipes and I keep this um, little album in our kitchen by our cookbooks and it's really helped me to have all of my baking recipes right there if I want to make banana bread or snickerdoodles or anything like that it's been awesome and I love keeping the recipes inside of the little page protectors just in case you have flour or oil or anything on your hands and you don't want to get it on anything and obviously I use the little flip up um, little uh, extra pockets basically just because some of the recipes were too long to have the photo on top of the recipe but I want all of the recipes to just be one page long so I decided to just use the little photo flip and still be able to have the picture of the recipe and the recipe all on one page so at this point I grabbed out this little star stamp that was from a different random uh, Disney stamp set and I'm just adding on a few purple stars because I noticed that I had done that on the previous pages and then we're just going to tuck everything in and then at some point I lose a tiny bit of footage where I'm just adding some washi tape to the top of these uh, pages so it's really like you didn't miss anything but I do add a little bit of washi just because I didn't want you to be able to see that adhesive from where I attached the little flippy pictures. So I just added a little bit of washi to make it cuter and we are good to go there. So I loved being able to add more to this album. I showed it to Will and I can tell he really loves the cookbook because he's definitely into cooking. So I thought that it was um, it was fun to show it to him and, and he seemed to really like it. So that made me happy. So you see I'm starting off with the washi tape here but I don't end up using this particular washi tape. So whenever I do the little flip through at the very end you'll see the washi that I end up choosing and besides that that's the end of the video so um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please give me a like please also consider subscribing and of course I will be back at you super soon with another video so thank you again for watching I'll talk to you later bye y'all